Good morning. Today is day 13. We skipped day 12 and I'm running late because I forgot I had a coffee date with somebody. So we're gonna go. I was getting all ready to show you guys my breakfast and my coffee and um, I was going to boil some potatoes for dinner. We still might do that when I get back if I have time. And it slipped my mind that it was 9.30, not 10.30. And so now I'm running a little bit late. But... I have just gotten back. It went fairly well, I think. So I now have two room options, um, but yeah, so now I'm going to do those things I mentioned earlier. I want to make some potatoes, some mashed potatoes, so I can just heat it up for dinner tonight, maybe tomorrow night, and then I need breakfast, and I still have my coffee. It's actually a really nice drinking temperature now. <laughs> These ones are the wild berry medley flavor. It's done. And I'm boiling the pot for my potatoes. I wanted to bake today, but then I'll have to go grocery shopping after work. And I don't know if I'll feel up to it. So, I'm going to show you how to make my mashed potatoes first. Which is kind of like dinner prep. Because I'm not going to get home till like 6.30. Um, but yeah, I also have to leave in... 30, 45 minutes, so let's make this mash. I already boiled my potatoes. Now I'm gonna drain them. They like overboiled so that I could mash them easier because I always have a hard time mashing them. I do not have much milk left. Okay. First, you wanna add some butter while they're still warm so that it melts. healthy chunk of that and then okay, we'll start with a little bit of milk and then you add more just to get the consistency you want and then we'll mash it okay I think mine could use the tiniest bit more milk and then that's pretty well there. And now, for the best part, the seasonings. I'm gonna do garlic today. Normally I do onion, but we're doing garlic. Um, healthy amount of salt and pepper. I like pepper, so we're gonna add a little bit more. And then garlic. I don't know, I'm a big fan of garlic, so I'm going to start with a, quite a decent amount on my spoon there. Just spread it around. Mix it. Good. Okay. And you always taste. Taste test. I'd say I could put the touch more of the garlic in, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. Um, awesome. Now I'm going to put this back in the fridge and I'm done. I'm headed off to work, but I might bring you grocery shopping with me after work and it'll be a day in my life, sort of, kind of. 
so I'm off work now and it's dark but I wanted to see if Walmart had some banana, old bananas and some chocolate chips because I want to do some baking and that's kind of my easy baking snack to like check in the freezer and then defrost as needed so well banana chocolate chip muffins are so we're gonna see if they have that and also from work i really think i want to try and make some focaccia buns so that's something else that i might like to do and i do think i already have all of the stuff for focaccia but i might grab some more yeast and i need some milk because i'm out but yeah i'll see you inside i found the way to do stick clear but there's no bananas, but I found some pears, so maybe we can just eat pears. I do love how Walmart has like a, a section for like their clothes and then their toys, but they also do like supermarket and grocery stuff, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to grab a few grocery things, but I'll show you everything at home. I'm having an omelette. Yeah, eight minutes. Known each other for over 5,000 and something days. Let me show you what I bought. We have got bananas, which aren't good to bake with because they're still bright green. Some cookies. Margarine. Some tomato sauce, some dairy free chocolate chips, some pasta, and I had these three for seven dollars, so I got these. And I also got some pesto, some yeast, and some reduced pears. And that is what I got. But I think I'm going to make some focaccia, so I'm going to prepare an overnight noni dough. And you're going to help me do that, and then I'm going to get ready for bed. We're going to make focaccia. Uh, this recipe is by Alexandra Cooks, and it is ridiculously simple. I'm halving the recipe, so we're going to start with two cups of flour and one teaspoon of salt. grams of instant yeast but that's one of these packets so I somehow need half of a packet and I shouldn't put it directly on the salt but and two cups of flour So it's not on here, but I'm going to add a pinch of sugar. And then to my mixture, I'm adding in a cup of lukewarm water. And that's literally it for the bread. Now I'm going to mix it with a spatula and then probably will progress to my hand. But basically you want to mix it until a dough forms. Then we're going to cover it in oil, refrigerate overnight, and it's gonna do what they call a retard, which is basically an overnight proof. And it will be delicious and ready to bake tomorrow, I believe. I don't have anywhere enough, enough flour in here. Okay. But maybe that's why it, also, it told me to use a spatula. Okay. 
Now you want to be a little bit generous with your oil here, especially because you don't want your dough drying out, especially because I'm using a lid that's going to be quite far away from my dough. And if you're using a damp tea towel, you don't want your dough sticking to your damp tea towel. So there we go. That is my dough. We're going to cover it, put it in the fridge, and leave it to bake tomorrow. I'm not sure. It says at least 12 hours, so it's 8.25 now, so I could probably bake it at 8.25 in the morning if I wanted to, but you can leave it for up to three days. So I like my focaccia to have like a garlic infused oil over the top. Olive oil is the best oil to use because it adds a nice little flavor. I only have canola. So I'm putting a little bit of oil, my chosen oil in a little ramekin. I'm gonna finally dice or mince some garlic. You could use um, pre-minced stuff, but it's not gonna give you as strong as a flavor as raw will. Uh, so it's worth cutting it up, even if you buy the ones that are already peeled and just chop it up and put it in there. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect mince. It doesn't even, so I've kind of rough, finely chopped these. As you can see there, I'm just gonna add them to my oil. This doesn't have to go in the fridge. There's nothing in there that needs to be in the fridge, but if you wanna keep it in the fridge, also fine. I'm just gonna cover mine with a little bit of bad wrap and leave it out on the bench there. I do wanna make sure that I give it a bit of a stir or make sure the whole garlic's all sort of in there. And then, that is that. I now will wait to bake that till tomorrow. And I'm gonna get ready for bed, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I just wanna say a huge thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification icon to get notified when I upload. And I will hopefully see you all in the next video. Until then, peace. For some better days, cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better days.